In the city of Faribault, concerned citizens brought up the discussion on whether or not the city should oppose the new state flag. Even though the decision is not unanimous, the city council is continuing its discussion to send the letter opposing the changes. Sophie Martinez and photojournalist Tony Peregrine took us to Faribault, where we hear more from the mayor. So if nothing changes, um, nothing changes. But once in a while, we need to speak up our opinions all the way to the top and give them what our thoughts are. And Faribault City Council members will discuss whether or not to write a letter discussing their position opposing the new state flag due to the impacts it will have on the city. Through different levels of conversation, the police chief even stated that it would cost us about $15,000 in order to change out our seals just within the police department. The discussion started when residents shared their opinions and feelings towards the change. As an elected official, we need to rep remember that we represent our public. We represent everybody that's a taxpayer in our city and every opinion that they have. You know, Faribault is about 25,000, give or take a few, and, and we need to listen to those voices. The State Emblems Redesign Commission chose the final version on an 11 to 1 vote after finalizing a new state seal that illustrates a loon, the state bird. Unless the legislature rejects them, the new flag and seal will automatically become official April 1st of this year. Opinions are always important, especially when they're given in a respectful manner. In Fairbelt, Sofia Martinez, KEYC News Now. If the city agrees to oppose the new state flag, they would be joining Houston and Crow Wing counties, which formally did so earlier this year.